five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem, New York. Yes, it's the Ramble. It's Alex Bennett, and I'm Alex, and I'll be here until, yeah, until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. We look at her every two weeks, and she's always looking radiant. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ronnie Bennett. Good morning. Hardly radiant. Ex-wife and bottle washer. Yeah, hardly radiant. Why are you hardly radiant? What is the? I've been in bed for a week. Really? Why? Sick. Oh, Called okay. Sick. I mean, what kind of sick though? Temperature, body aches, low energy, um, uh, yeah. I mean, name it. And, and you know, I didn't know that I. I still don't know whether I have corona or not. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And uh, it's, uh, you know, and just exhausted. I, I, my temperature has been normal since last night. Okay. Since, what's today? Tuesday. Um, since Monday night. And it was again this morning. I'm still tired. I'm going to go out when you and I are done because I need to go to the pharmacy and I want to keep ahead on keeping the freezer full unless in case I am sick, you know? Yeah. Um, and I, um, and it's just, you know, I've crawled out of bed to come to the computer and answer email or something now and then, but mostly I've just stayed in bed and I tried to binge watch things, but I fall asleep in the middle and couldn't tell you anything about them. Right. Right. Wow. Uh, uh, but being sick in this period of time, uh, I'm not so sure that the anxiety isn't worse than the illness of is this corona? Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and the one big sin, you know, when you watch those people who are sitting at home and they do have corona mm -hmm. and they tell you about what it's like, every single one of them says sniffles and runny nose. I didn't have that at all. Well, I always have sniffles and a runny nose, so I'm, I don't worry about that. Uh, but no, but uh, I, uh, I, I, somebody I know that may have it, the doctor said pr m probably is corona or whatever, and he's staying home, and he doesn't have sniffles. He has, uh, I, I, did he say he had a cough? I can't remember, but he, he said he had a temperature. That was the main clue, you know. Well, I mean, any kind of flu, you have a temperature, so that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. So, but you're feeling better today, is what you're saying. I'm a little better today. I mean, I don't have a temperature, which you know how that makes your head feel like it's wrapped in cotton batting and you can't right. think and right. Right. all of that. But I'm. But I really want to say that the, it's the anxiety. Am I going to die here in my bed all by myself and nobody knows? You know, um, that's uh that kind of, you know, keeps creeping into your temperature tainted thinking. <laughs> and, uh, um, and yesterday I ha Oh, and, uh, I, on Saturday, it was bad enough that I called the medical center where I have all my doctors and treatments. And of course I couldn't talk to a doctor. They're busy, I guess. But, um, I talked to some doctor who was on call for mm -hmm. all this and, she just told me to stay. I, oh, I also, because I have COPD, I was having heavy breathing problems. Mm -hmm. And there, that is, all the rest of it I could live with, that I really can't yeah, I stay. Know. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I, uh, she said she didn't think I needed to go to the emergency room. And, uh, but that if the breathing got worse, and I was really having trouble getting any air in to call 911 and go to the emergency room. Right. That didn't happen. It got better. Um, and also, you know, I have oxygen here, so I was using oxygen that helped. Right. Um, so, uh, so yesterday I had my first telehealth, telehealth appointment. Right, right. 
my um Marjorie had one of those yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is it, it, it's a new, it, it's another part of the new normal. But go ahead, tell us about your uh, your. Telecom. Well, you go ahead. I mean, you, no, you know. No, no, no. I'm just mentioning that this seems to be a common thing now to in order to handle things. In it, this it's been crisis. around for a long time. This is nothing new. Yeah. It, it's it's. I mean, you could say that's what I had last Saturday too. Yeah. Um, but it was with my palliative care provider. And uh, and what I asked most importantly was, what is dying of coronavirus like? He had told me that there were almost no beds at that hospital, where in that complex, right? And that certainly, probably no ventilators, which someone like me would need a ventilator to live, right? Uh, if I were that sick, and. Um, and I thought about that, and you know, he's a palliative care guy, so we talk about these things. Um, of that, if it came to that, that if I have coronavirus, that they should let me go, because I'm an old woman, you know, I've I've led most of my life. Um, but I asked him what the dying was. I'm scared of dying, of not being able to breathe, of how awful that would be. Mm-hmm try to get your breath and not Mm -hmm. and he said that there are drugs that they can give you that make that to ease that and ease the pain um and that it would take a few days but he literally said to you that because of your age they probably wouldn't treat you no, oh, I didn't uh, say that. Oh, well, you Take said that back. I don't want anybody well, in the well, audience well, hearing that. Well, no, the reason I'm ask, I asked you that is because that's how it kind of sounded that you said that because you were uh, of your age. No, no, no. I said that. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good. Because the latest thing coming out of Italy is they're telling their doctors do not treat anybody over the age of 60. Well, you know, and so are they saying it here. I mean, you know, there's the, the the lieutenant governor of Texas just said that every one of us old people, it's up to us to stand up and take the virus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my, oh, my. Yeah. Um, you know. So, now I want to go back to that. I want to be really clear. Yeah. I said that. Oh, okay. All right. I, I said that. Okay. I just wanted uh, to, I just wanted to clarify that. That's all. I didn't think I was unclear, <laughs> and that's really, really important. I mean, it's yeah. not its not a joke, yeah. and it's not laughable, and it's really important that a doctor did not say that to me. But it is, it is true that, I mean, I uh, heard several doctors, when asked the question about age, said that if there are only two, one ventilator and there are two patients and one of them is 80 and one of them is 40, I'm giving it to the one who's 40. You know. I have seen that. Yeah, I, I, I heard that in a discussion. Uh, doctors that make those decisions, but I think that they're on the spot. I mean, if you've got a 40-year-old that's going to die anyway, whatever you do, and an 80-year-old that might survive, I think you'd see a doctor doing the reverse. But they're making those ventilators work for two people at a time. They're trying. They're testing it here in New York, is what they said. That's what Cuomo said today. They're testing it. It's well, a somebody possibility. somebody else said it two days ago. Fauci, yeah. I think. Yeah. He said it's a possibility. They're not sure they can get them to work that way, but if they can, it takes some rearranging uh, of the electronics or whatever to do it. But if they can do that, that will help with the problem because here in New York we've got what? What did he say? I, I don't even. I can't remember the number. Something like four thousand ventilators, and we're going to need thirty thousand within fifteen days. That's you know, so they're going to have to figure out some way to double up on ventilators and so on. So, if they can, you know, yeah. you can't you can't go around saying you must when nobody knows how. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but we, we have a president here that uh, that uh, is already wanting people to get back to work. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's thinking more about the economy than he is about the public health. Well, and, it's just going to kill everybody at work then. Well, uh, you know, I mean, I agree that if somebody has had it and it's been resolved, they could go back to work safely, okay? I've also read one long article on recurrences after mm. you've been cleared. Mm-hmm. Until we know if that's true or right. not, you can't be sending people back to work. 
Well, uh, uh, Cuomo said they're working. They have a test which they're going to maybe release tomorrow that will be able to tell whether you've had it and it's been resolved. Okay, uh, and if that's the case, they can say that certain people at least can be can do certain things, maybe like helping other people uh, by going and and helping older people who. Uh, need help and don't want to get infected, and if they've resolved, they will not infect them. It's 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 a whole, you know, all of this is, and Cuomo's been very good about this. He says all of this is just things we're looking at. You know, he said the reality is this, and then he gives you the realities of the number of beds, the number of ventilators, what the I'm need will it, be. I understand. Yeah, he's very. I don't know if you've seen him. But, yes, I just said I yeah. had. I, we're going to clean out your ears, okay? That's yeah. twice a day. Oh, don't be cranky just because you're sick. I am really cranky, <laughs> so be careful. You're, today you are the crabby lady uh, that you talk crabby about. Old crabby old lady. Uh, he, Cuomo, I mean, I wish he were president right now in handling this crisis because he he really does a wonderful job of it. I watch him every day, and I go, "It's not. He's not telling me everything's going to be fine and everything's going to everything's going to be wax lips and roses." He says, "Here's what the situation is," and then he talks about the other toll, which is the emotional toll it's taking on people and how to deal with that. He said, you know, here's the good news. If you're at home with your kids, here's a real chance to bond with your kids again and not have to go to work, you know. Sure, well, they're in the other room. Yeah, but uh, it, it's, this I, is. I, that's a little far-fetched. <laughs> I am I am so upset with our president only because he's just not the leader we need in a situation like this. Okay. Oh, you haven't been upset with him before? Well, I was upset with him before, but I mean, now... It's the time, you know, there are people that I've hated, like Rudy Giuliani, but I had to admit that when it came to 9-11, he handled it well. Could you I know? interrupt here a minute? Yeah, sure. Whatever happened to Rudy Giuliani? Where he, is he? He, he, dis he disappeared off the face of the planet. <laughs> I, I actually think that there's a segment of the Trump administration that offs people. Uh, and, and I think they may have just gotten to Fauci. Because Fauci hasn't been seen I'm for really, a couple of I'm, days. I'm so up. When I tuned in yesterday, and he wasn't there. Yeah. And of course, everybody on the podium was all standing shoulder. We're all standing shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, while we're supposed to be eight feet apart or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, never mind. I, yeah. I, I, but, there's nothing right. Absolutely zero, right going on from the Trump administration or anybody in it. Well, if in fact they pushed Fauci out, that is a huge error in judgment, you know? Because he's the guy you listen to. He's your go-to guy, you know? Yes, we, understand. we all know that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. But we all know Trump's smarter than anybody else. You know, I, I have no patience with that kind of stuff anymore i mean it, it's i just have no patience there's nothing there's nothing good that can be said about that man the less we say the better off we are and if you are the praying sort uh or whatever it is that you do to contact the gods then you have to just pray that he doesn't kill us all yeah because yeah. that's what he's gonna do yeah um, what, I'll tell you what was interesting uh, that Cuomo talked about today. He said he got a hold of the uh, Health and Services Department or whatever that cabinet post is. The government is holding on to 20,000 ventilators. Yes, I heard that. Yes. And what he said to them was, look, what you do is you release them to the state, the state that is most needy, which is ours, because we have about 10 times the infection rate of any other state in the union. A lot of it has to do with density of population and the fact that we're doing more testing. He said, we need those ventilators. When we're through with them, I, at the cost of New York City, will send it to another state that needs them. That's the way it should be done. Not like, well, this, has, this state has so much, so we'll apportion 10 to them and 20 to another and whatever. He said, you go to the place that's ground zero, 
you take care of that, then you move those ventilators elsewhere. He said, I'll ship every ventilator in this state out to another state if we don't need them, you know? And he, so the thing about Cuomo is he at least has some kind of solutions, you know, and, and mm -hmm. logical solutions. Our president is doing none of that. Our government is doing none of that, mm -hmm. you know? Oh. And um, I'm past railing about it. It's, I'm so far past it. People well, are dying left and right. What I'm so happy about is that we're going to save the cruise ships. <laughs> you know. I don't know about oh, that. Oh, the, the president I'm, has I'm, been saying we have to. Want, come on, we go to, on to something else. We, we have to Nobody bail cares. out the cruise ships. Yeah. Where no. were the where He'll was? Bail out whoever he wants, but let's just let's let's. I I just I can't stand them. I used to not be able to stand his voice. I now cannot stand his name, and I just I don't want to hear. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just don't want to hear. Well, all I'm saying. I can read about, the headlines. Oh, I know what he does. That's all I need. All I'm saying about cruise ships is they're floating petri dishes. They've always caused some kind of illness. You know, we hear those stories every other week. So anyway, um, so uh, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the uh, how was the play? Uh, you know how uh, you're feeling better, so that's good I'm news. Better today. I'm getting very tired. It's ten twenty here, and I've been up since five thirty. And I also, you know, what? It, it just I'm still so amazed. I never quite get accustomed to it. But the exercises that they taught me in pulmonary rehab help my breathing so much. And when I don't, which I didn't exercise for the near week I was sick, it wasn't, I, I don't don't believe it was whatever is wrong with me that was so much causing the breathing as I wasn't doing the exercises every morning. Yeah. So this morning, um, after I ha always have to have a cup of coffee first, if you'd like me to move around at all, um, so I had the cup of coffee and I started the exercises and I was doing pretty well. And the phone rang when I was about 20 minutes into them. And so that was a good excuse to stop. Because yeah. as much good as they do for me, I hate it. I just hate it. Uh, so I use that. At, oh, I've been sick, so I only did 20 minutes today. But tomorrow I'll do better. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the one thing that we had in common. Uh, exercising is something we didn't particularly like. We know you have to Not do it. Particularly, it's spell it. H-A-T-E. <laughs> I hate it. I just hate it. I've done it all my life, and I don't. I just can't stand it. And you know, I don't play physical games. I don't play baseball. I don't play whatever things grown-ups games they play. Um, and uh, I wasn't any good at them in school, and I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Uh, Anyway, we'll see if I'll do it. But, you know, I got it 20 minutes in. I was just doing it this morning to see how far I could get without wearing out. And I yeah. got, I, w I was ready to keep going if the phone hadn't rung. Good, good, good. Well, you're uh, obviously you're on the mend. So, you know, maybe it wasn't the coronavirus, but certainly uh, with your condition, uh, any kind of cold you get or whatever is, is more serious than it would be to somebody else, you know, because of well, the COPD. It's the, it's the the doctor said yesterday, you know, yeah. the thing about coronavirus, because I have COPD, when I, I asked him, I think, did I say this earlier? I'm still fuzzy headed a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, that I, uh, um, oh, God damn, <laughs> I what I was saying. Um, oh, I asked him. Yeah. What about dying of it? And yeah. What it was like. I mentioned that. And the thing is that with with the, as bad a COPD as I have, mm. there's no living through coronavirus. When I said that to him, he agreed with me. Yeah. Um, so uh, I guess it's not unless, you know, I have the vaguest memory that I've seen a couple of people interviewed, but this was during the period of time I had a temperature, so God knows what I heard. But I think I heard that at least a couple of people who were interviewed who were stuck at home because they have the virus um, said that they'd had some light symptoms in the beginning and then they disappeared and they thought they were better and then they got slammed. 
I may be wrong because I was pretty out of it when I was trying to watch television those few days. Yeah. But um, but so I'm kind of holding my breath now to see if anything mm -hmm. comes back. I have not been out of the house for a week now. <laughs> have not left the apartment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Marjorie has gone out to the store and then quickly come back. She goes down with a mask and gloves, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I haven't left is uh, they say, well, if you're uh, over 80, tick, okay, and have cancer, tick, all right, uh, you, you're more subject to this. You know, you're more liable to have a serious situation. So I am just I'm I just I'm afraid to go out, you know. Well, it, it's a lot of work to go out. I have to go to the pharmacy today. Yeah. And you know, so because there's no such thing as hand sanitizer, I've got a little bit now mm -hmm. that someone gave me. But um, I think far more effective are gloves. Mm -hmm. And I happen to have a box of two hundred of them. Yeah, here. we have them too. Yeah. And from something else, so. Um, I always I have a whole lot of gloves in the in the glove compartment of the car, <laughs> and um, and I always shove a two or three pair in my pocket, and I think those are more effective than hand sanitizer anyway. Um, and I'm it, my pharmacy is in the supermarket, mm -hmm. and I saw in the local paper that they were retrofitting the checkout aisles with self checkout. Ah, good. So I'm interested in saying, no, yeah, I don't think it's good. I don't want to pack my own groceries. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you do what you have to do. And um, so I'll check that out while I'm there today and do a little bit of shopping while, as long as I'm in the building. Are you wearing a mask, too? No, there's no masks anywhere. I can, I'll never have a mask in my life. <laughs> They don't have enough at the hospitals here. How am I going Actually, to get Actually, we have a couple of them because, uh, first of all, uh, my wife's company had some. You told me you steal them, which I think... No, I didn't know, steal them. I was the I was, hospital no, workers. I, I, I was just curious I, with I was about talking them. about gloves. I wasn't talking about those. Um, we were talking about masks. No, I wasn't. When I said I took stuff from the hospital, I always grabbed a couple of gloves. You told me a face mask. No, we can go no, get the no, tape. No, no, no. I can get the tape. I didn't. I never said face mask because I never took a face mask. But anyway, she got a couple of face masks from her company. These are the N95s, and then our uh, what do you call it? our super here in the building said, "Wait a minute, let me go down and get you something." He came back with two masks, and we said, "Where did you get these?" And he says, "Oh, we have a ton of them downstairs because this is what we use when people work on apartments." so that they don't breathe in the dust and the asbestos or whatever. So uh, he got us a couple of those, you know, so. Is there asbestos in your building? Well, I don't know if there's asbestos anymore, but there there are a lot of contaminants and stuff when you're when you're working on when an apartment and yeah, tearing but, it apart. But asbestos in particular, you should be really clear about whether it's there or not. I, I think most of the asbestos is gone in this apartment house, but this is an old apartment house, it's 1900. You know. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should be living yeah. with asbestos. But anyway, you know, they, 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 they churn up a lot of dust, and so they wear they have them wear the masks, and that's what those masks are. So. He should be sending them to the local hospital. Well, maybe he needs them for the people who work for him, you know. So, you know. The only people that need them, if they, are, if they are limited right now, are the people who put their life on their line to care for us. I'm sure he doesn't have hundreds of them downstairs. Let me put it that way. Okay. But he did get us a couple of them, and, uh, you know, we use them when we go to the store. I would have said that I do not have any gloves. And then I remembered this box from when I used to have to give myself injections. Mm -hmm. And it was a 200-count box. Yeah. So, you know, you use one pair a day. That doesn't. Uh, that leaves me lots and lots. Yeah. So, and if you're only going out of the house once or twice a week, that what's left can last me a lot. I'd send half of them to a friend in New York City because you can't find gloves anywhere in New York City. Right. But you can't hear either. Well, Marjorie bought some for some reason, and we have a box of them, you know, so. Um, so, but I just, the hospital workers, I don't know how they go to work every day with the lack of protection. And they just 
I, I know that, you know, as much as fuzzy headed from a temperature, me was worried and frightened about what I might have when I was so sick. Um, I, uh, I can't imagine what it's like to get up and go to the hospital every day. Right. And you've got children at home or a right. husband or a wife or perhaps, you know, your your mother or father live with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it, it's, it's just so frightening. Hey, we run out of time. We did. Oh, yeah. what a, look at what we've moaned and groaned to the whole thing. Well, it's, it's, it's the main moaning and groaning these days. It's the main... main topic of conversation get better feel good i'm much much better i'm just i realized i'm just wearing down that i probably need a nap you know time goes by dot net that's where you'll find ronnie bennett and every couple of weeks you'll find her right here thank you ronnie you're welcome thank you darling Still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Mm, yeah, and there's Ronnie. There she goes, there she goes. Okay, let me see here. Where are we? I got to, I'm all for blungeon. Got to figure out how this damn thing works. I think it works like this. If I just click this button, I'll start getting Skype coming up. It'll take a little while. For some reason, uh, Skype on this machine takes a while to uh, engage, as it were. But uh, uh, it seems to be okay. Let's see here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. There we go. Okay, now it's, it's up and running. Let me see here. But it's not up and running. Come on. Start up, will you, Skype? No? Skype is there. There we go. Hold on a second, folks. No, that's not what I want. Oh boy, this is this is. Uh, let me just uh, take this down here. All right. Uh, I I don't know what happens here with me. No, I've got to try. I've got to fit. See, I got to fit Skype into the page here. All right. Okay. Skype's up and running, and then I got to get myself up and running. Here we go. There we go. Now you should all have me a uh, green light on me that says, "Hey, why don't you call Alex?" All right. And uh, we do Ronnie about once every two weeks, and we we did uh, how many minutes on her tonight? Twenty five minutes. Uh, she's the only one now that we're doing twenty five minutes with, but uh, uh, I think she's well worth it, and uh, I'm glad to hear she's feeling better. I'm, I have another friend who thinks he's got the coronavirus, uh, so it's 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 going around. That's what they say, right? It go, it's going around. And I thought before I came on tonight, I had a little temperature, but then I took my temperature again, and it was different. It's it's on it's ninety eight point five, okay. But I've had a headache today, uh, which I think has something to do with the seeds. Uh, okay, folks, I'm waiting for calls from people, but I'm not getting any. Is there a reason for that? I know that we're on and we're ready to go, uh, but nobody's calling yet. Hmm. Could there be a reason? Can you hear me? Uh, I'm with you, Ronnie, on Trump. Okay. Is, uh, just let me know in the chat. Am I, am I, are you hearing me and try calling me? What is the uh, problem? Here, usually I, oh, here we go, there we go, all right, I just wanted to, I was getting worried there for a moment, uh, and uh, no need to worry, though, no need to worry, uh, let me see here, Phil is uh, there, and let me put him in a, in a spot here, uh, scuba diver, okay, there we go, and then I uh, simply go, boom, and there he is, see? And then Charlie Wallace is calling, and uh, I go to, into the next spot here, which is the number two spot, and I give Charlie Wallace his own little little place. Let me see here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, boy. And Sibby Itty is calling. Let me, I'll have to give him a place, too, but let me first give Charlie a place. Uh, Charles Wallace, there we go. Okay, 
And then now three, we go and see if we can get Sibby in there. Sibby Itty, Sibby Sibs, that's what he calls himself. Uh, ha, ha, ha. And, ta-da, there they are, ladies and gentlemen, the first three people. Oh, here comes Rob Alfano. Oh, your people are now coming at me quick and fast. Let me see here if I can do this as quick and fast as uh, uh, I can. Let me see here. Rob Alfano, is he up there? No, i got to redo him again. See, until I see a picture here, I can't find them on the list. There's Rob Alfano. Okay, there we go. There's Rob, and I will go over to that. There we go. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi there, Phil. You're quiet tonight. I was giving you a chance to do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, wait a minute. Did you, Rob? Yeah. Did you do something to your face? I shaved my, uh, my beard off. Yes, you did. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the all-new Rob Alfano. <laughs> He's no longer a free time. What? Yeah, I got rid of the beard. I got tired of it. Yeah, when did you do it? This weekend? Uh, about four. I did it uh, Saturday, I think. Really? Because you know mm -hmm. what I found? Whenever I have ever cut off my, my facial hair for one reason or another, um, people have uh, said to me, they, they, they don't notice that you cut off your beard. They just say, uh, have, have, you, uh, have you been doing something lately or whatever? They don't quite get the fact that you cut off the facial hair. Yeah. And, and people look at you and say, did you get a haircut? That's you... it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something. I've had a beard or a goatee for probably since I was 18 years old, with the exception of maybe a few weeks in between. Mm -hmm. But now that it's all white, eh, get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. And this side, it's over. Y y okay. Plus, it doesn't match my hair because my hair is dark. Mm -hmm. My beard is all gray. What do they really? say? The curtains don't match the rug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that had to do with blondes, who <laughs> really were brunettes, and a certain part of their anatomy wasn't brunette. But these days yeah. they shave it off, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? Being in the rug business, I always thought it was about rugs. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Shag. Yeah. 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 So uh, look, look at the Rob. He's slowly getting his studio together. It's starting. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds fine. You know. Oh, here comes Kevin. Let me uh, let me see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -boo, uh, six in. We go into the number five spot, and we find a place for Kevin. Uh, we go. Uh, he is Hog Rider. Yeah. Automatically know these names now. There's Hog Rider, and uh, uh, do you have your dude wipes with you tonight? You never know when you need your dude wipes. <laughs> runner somewhere. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm feeling a little Better distracting. Feeling a little feverish tonight, but I I took my temperature about five times, and it went back and forth between 97.6 and 98.7. Uh, 90, yeah, 98.7. And I'm going, that's weird, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I, but I'm, I'm fine. Low temperatures. I'm getting these low temperatures. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was uh, 97.8 was normal. You know, I've been taking. 98.6. I've been, yeah. I've been yeah. taking my temperature every time I turn on a newscast and they say, we're ground zero here in New York for the. And I go, I better go take my temperature, you know. So that uh, that's my uh, my latest uh, thing. Of course, you know this is horrible a horrible thing for a hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. You know, just terrible for a hypochondriac. Let me see here. Do we have an uh, oh, cancel? See, until people's pictures come in, I can't um, I can't bring them in. Let me see here. Here uh, now now he should be there. Well, there we go. Okay. All right. And there's uh, there's there's uh, Tony. Hello, Tony. How's it going? How you doing? You got the corona yet? I'm telling you, I I'm probably just as bad as you. I don't. I run out to the drugstore, get a medicine, and I come right back. 
I don't want to leave the house. I go in the yard with the dogs. I have not. Maybe the reason I'm feeling feverish and tired and exhausted is I haven't been really out of the house. Today was the first time I went out of the house, and I went downstairs into the lobby to get the mail and came right back up. I mean, I'm not that. I mean, it's almost like I do what I have to do, and I come right back. I'm actually now. I went to C-Town today. I I go in because it's a small store by my house. Yeah. And I just go in for a couple of things because I don't need a lot. And I'm like, I grab it, Mm -hmm. check out. And I have actually soap on me, like the little Purell, and I Purell my hands when I leave. Yeah. I hope, and Alex, I don't want to get off topic, I really hope he drops dead this guy, Trump. <laughs> because that speech at the end of the day, we're going to go back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I loved yeah. was he said, what a beautiful day that would be for us to get back to normal. Yeah, be on, on Easter. And I'm thinking, everybody you, stops I'm thi- the church. Well, yeah. I'm thinking, you could, wait, yeah. wait a minute, you couldn't make it Passover? You know, <laughs> of course not. That would be Jewish. Yeah, that would be too Jewish for for Trump. No. Yeah. I mean, what what about social? I mean, it's almost like two days look, ago. Look, look, we Fa- 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 Fauci was looking at him like he was from outer space when he was given that whole <laughs> yeah. you know thing. Didn't Fauci say that he wasn't pushed out by Trump. He was just busy. Well, they're going to say the truth anyway. Well, yeah, but you know what Fauci said about him a few days ago before he disappeared. He said that I, it's very hard for me to get the proper information out to the American public when he's telling them bad information. Well, and that's the last we've heard from him. And that was the mm-hmm. last we heard of him for quite a few days. And then yeah. he got so much heat, where's Fauci, where's Fauci, that all of a sudden Fauci is standing there like he's going, he's like, you know, He's so short, you think he's like Edgar, Ber- Edgar Bergen's... Uh, d- 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 you know, d- d- what, <laughs> what people don't understand is we're all going to get this virus. We're all, we're mostly all... Phil, he's being and, callous about it. It's just... People a, are dying right Phil, now. Phil, number one, I'm getting tired of you giving out false information about it's this. Not false, I don't false. want any medical information... Mm. That, put out on this program. No, 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 that's not what they're saying, Phil. You know. What they're trying to do is they're trying to hold the curve down so that the health care system can handle the number of cases and that doesn't get overwhelmed. That, that's why. Yeah, but it is going to be overwhelmed. It already is overwhelmed. Oh, I yeah. called my, I, t- I talked to my doctor's office today because I was, I'm supposed to have a CT scan to see how the seeds are doing, you know, that they're in the right place. And she said to me, well, they will call you from the hospital next week and make a date with you if you don't want to do it next week. He said, because we can do a CT scan here. But if you don't want to do it next week and you want to wait a month till this coronavirus thing settles down a bit, uh, that will be just fine because it's not essential. And then I said, boy, I, you know, what would have happened if I wanted to have the, uh, the uh, uh, operation today, okay, mm-hmm. if I had to have the operation today? And she said, well, we could do the operation. The only thing is we don't have any seeds to put in you because the seeds aren't available now. The seeds have suddenly become, un- the radioactive seeds have suddenly become unavailable. So what would be the sense of us doing it? She said, but that's our problem. We can't get the seeds. Now, mm. why that's become a problem, I have no idea. But, you know, it could be for any number of, of different reasons. Maybe but, they're giving him to Trump, eating him for breakfast. Yeah, he's eating him for another breakfast. another one, you son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You really think they put the seeds in and they just didn't, you know, do the placebo operation? Well, Dude, if, if they if they did, Phil, uh, <laughs> then I I'm, I wonder why it, it's a little harder for me to pee and uh, yeah. I have all kinds of when side effects from it. It's it's psychological. Yeah, it's psychological. Yes, yeah, Sibby, you you're quiet. No, I'm just listening to you guys. <laughs> I, I mean, how very, does he say was, East? Like you said, I was very disappointed with the whole. Uh, you know, remember the time when they talked about throwing Granny over the cliff? Yeah. Um, this is actually that's what it is. Everything, you know, everything the Republicans made a big deal about, from the fiscal deficit to the socialism to throwing granny over the cliff, everything that they, that made their blood boil at one point in time. Yeah. They are acceptable to that. What kind of hypocrisy is that? Yeah. Well, uh, it is it, unbelievable. you know, I'm not going to say it's a Republican thing or it's a Democrat 
democratic thing. I am going to say that it is a political thing. And there are a lot of politics going on here. When right now, we don't need politics. We need no. action. Um, yeah. And um, I don't know that the bill they passed was, you know, the, the fight they were having was the Republicans wanted to give Mnuchin half a billion dollars that he yes. could use at his discretion for whatever he wanted to use it for. And they went... And wouldn't even have to tell us about it. And wouldn't even yeah. have to tell us where he was spending it. Hotels and first first class airfare for his wife, his pretty wife. And hookers. Yes. And hookers. Hooker. Come on. See, that's a fucking slush fund. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, that was the kind of thing they were fighting over. Uh, the Democrats really just wanted the money to go to people and and yeah. and and to the end of the hospitals and to the problem directly, rather than some kind of little slush fund where we didn't know where that money was going. Half a billion dollars. Okay. I can't the airlines go out of business now. Fuck them. Yeah. I have a statement and a question. Okay. Uh, the statement is. Um, I forgot, but the question is: uh, Are is India experiencing uh, a high level of the virus? Uh, I don't think Russia is. Not it's too much. Uh, we had about confirmed uh, 500 cases yeah. and uh, double-digit deaths, probably less than 50. Mm -hmm. But Have the whole country, the whole country is on a lockdown right now for 21 oh, days. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, you know, I was just wondering, there's so many people in India, it's such a, a densely populated area, you know, uh, I'm just, I, and I hadn't heard much about uh, the, the virus there. Yeah. yeah, it's under lockdown, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it's very difficult to test, and I think, you know, the cases are low because there's not enough testing being done. A lot there of little... People walking around with the infection. A lot of these smaller countries, I had a guy here today fixing something, and he was from El Salvador. Guy, mm -hmm. he does a lot of handiwork for me. He built my patio, screen and patio downstairs, and he came back to fix something. And I asked him, I said, how is everything in El Salvador? And he said, they have a handful of cases because as soon as this started to come, the president said, no one's working. We're locking everything down. No flights in or out. You, the borders are closed. And they don't, I mean, there may be six cases there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a dream for Trump. Well, he should have locked it down in the yeah, seventh. Well. He didn't he didn't take it seriously in the beginning. He kept comparing it to the flu. Yeah, it'll go away as soon as it warms more, up. More people die of flu every like year. A medical, like a medical he well. didn't take it serious oh. early enough. Yeah. And you can dispute that, Phil, but you really can't, because I mean we got plenty of footage of him being asked about it and him responding in kind. It's not this is not hearsay. Yeah, he didn't take it serious. What he does now I, is a different story. You know what they're gonna have to do? You know, they're gonna have to do it like they do in Italy: lock up everybody in the houses and come out with those spray guns and sterilize everything. Yeah, well, remember yeah, but, the med fly? They'll just spray everybody. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, the med fly was uh, Governor Brown? Yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. He's Phil. He's looking bad. Come on, he's he's looking. I mean, to say that today so, about. Well, I mean, uh, let me put it this. Uh, let me put it this way. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Andrew Cuomo is doing. Yeah. He, he gives, he's he's doing what the president should be doing right now. Should be doing. We yeah. watch him every day. We remember all that. I says, this is the guy who's the president. We sit there. Well, you see him. I wonder if people were seeing him, and then I suddenly realized they're running his press conferences on MSNBC. So people have got to see and, and CNN. CNN, and they've got to be watching what he's saying, and he. It's not that he's calming. What he is is he's believable, and he he he's attempting uh, uh, the kind of solution that a governor can engage in. You know, thoughtful, thoughtful yeah, discussion, yeah. thoughtful, yeah. Thought, my best. And, and also a thoughtful explanation. Yes, Kevin. And the president was. Uh saying how nice he was and how they're getting along and then proceeded to throw him under the bus on Fox today. <laughs> oh, really? How did he throw him under the bus? What did he say? Uh, he told him, he, he said, uh, you know, we're getting along real well, real well, but we had ventilators for Cuomo in 2016, and he should have ordered 16,000 of them, and he said no. So screw him. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what's yep. Yeah, well, that's his fault. He should have had these, and he and he said no in 2016. 
Oh, he did. Well, for instance, so here's something. Here's something that Cuomo said today, and I, 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 this is why I'm saying that this is a guy who, who, who is a good executive this way. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about the fact that he, out of the health department, they had something, like tw- something like twenty thousand ventilators. And he called them up and said, I want those 20,000 ventilators. And they said, well, we were thinking of apportioning them to the states depending upon their needs and so on. And he said, New York City is ground zero right now. There are more people dying here than anywhere else in the United States. There are more people infected with this than anywhere in the United States. There are going to be more people needing ventilators here than anywhere. So here's the idea. You send us all those ventilators. He said, as soon as we don't need them any longer because we'll be able to start stemming the tide, we'll send those ventilators somewhere where they are needed. And then when those people have done the job, they move the ventilators to somewhere else where they're needed. And that these ventilators get moved around the country uh, as soon as one area is cleaned up. And since ours is the one that's ground zero right now, we need as many as we can lay our hands on. And I thought that was a perfectly acceptable yeah. Uh, uh, Which to uh, me way to is handle the it. reason why you have the feds holding on to a stockpile of them, so they're there when we need them to go where they have to well, go. Well, they weren't well willing to just let them go, okay? Well, or to you know, or that's to what they're there for. for you know, uh, that's what you know. Yeah, they were. They why, wanted. Why they, would why would why would New York buy sixteen thousand ventilators when they don't need them at the time? Yeah, you don't yeah. stockpile them just to have them. You put them in a place where you can get them when you need them. Yeah. You know what Cuomo could have said to him? I would have said to him, you know what? We should order them. Maybe you should have uh, took this a little more seriously, and we wouldn't be in this fucking problem. And I got another yeah. thought. Another yeah, thought. True. The biggest money-making city in the United States, possibly the world, is New York City. Yeah. And Trump is all about getting business back to work. You got to start in Manhattan. You got to start in New York City. You cannot have this virus run rampant. He wants to return to work. That's how you do it. Yeah. You help them you out. Exactly. Well, but you don't do it in the next two weeks. I'm sorry. You know what he is? Is he's worried about two things that he's not going to get elected because the unemployment rate is going to be too high, and he's not going to get elected because he handled this thing so badly. So he wants to get everybody, uh, and also because the stock market, how low the stock market is. So he wants to get everybody back to work, so the stock market goes up, and so, uh, you know, it it, it doesn't look like... um, um, The things are as bad as they are, but they will continue to be bad, and that will make them worse. Okay, I mean, right now, I haven't left the house in a week. Okay, and I'm not planning. And Marjorie is going to the store tomorrow morning at seven o'clock in the morning when when there's nobody there. Okay, and uh, uh, she's going with her mask, and she's going with her gloves. We we have a whole box of rubber gloves. She's going to use that the, one of the, a set of those, and she's then going to uh, go in there, get what she's got to get, and leave. Okay? That's what I do. It's like a relay so, race when I run Tonight we spent $31 <laughs> ordering a dinner from Popeye's Chicken down oh, the street. Deliver. They deliver, but it was 31 bucks with a tip and everything. Okay, uh, But when it came, as soon as it came... She, we paid the guy through the door like this, okay? <laughs> right, right. And then we took the package and we, we immediately took it out of its plastic outer and put the boxes on the de- table. And then we took some uh, rags and washed them all down, the boxes. Just, just rub them all down with water, okay? And then we washed our hands. And then we ate our chicken. Then we ate our chicken. Okay? And I don't know. I think if you cook something, the bacteria isn't going to last on the chicken. They say if you nuke it in the micro, I heard, just throw it in the microwave. It'll kill anything. Yeah, well, I'll stick my old body in the microwave then. you got to radiate your food now before you eat it. (laughs) Hey, my uh, uh, operations manager is 71, and he went to uh, Safeway the other morning. Uh, because you could get in at like six or seven yeah. in the morning, yeah. and uh, if you're over sixty or sixty-five, yeah. So uh, he's he's in the uh, he's in the line for the sixty-five year olds, and there's a big long line for the under sixty-fives, and some lady starts yelling at him, "You're not sixty-five. What are you doing in that?" Well, you told line? that story the other day. Oh, yeah. 
Well, <laughs> you, you know, Pete, there's a 15 minute cycle for uh, yeah. for stories. Yeah, oh, yeah, know? it's okay if you tell it again. Uh, All right. So, uh, you know, the woman says, "Are you 65?" He says, "No." And she says, "Well, you shouldn't be in that line." He says, "I'm 71." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, and, but I've heard other reports of people doing that. Uh, I've seen it on Facebook. People are you know in the line uh, for the sixty five, and people are yelling, "You don't belong there." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get angry out there. I always feel funny when I take a senior discount at sixty three because people don't think I, I look sixty three, and so I feel like I have to take my license out to show them I'm really over sixty. Yeah. Well, I mean. Um, the worst I had to do was when I first uh, found out I could get into movie theaters because it was like 62 or something uh, for a senior price. Uh, I just was said, the hell with it. I'm not going to pay full price. If I can pay get senior, I'll get senior. I'll, I'll suck it up, you know, yeah. and get senior. And I had another woman with me who was, uh, she was in her 40s, but she was in college. Uh, she was going to UC Berkeley, and she had a student card. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave my senior car, my the social security card, and my driver's license, and she gave him the student card. I said, one student and one senior, please. Yeah. I My wife is 40. I pay I, two seniors. They never balk. Really? Okay. I'm, I'm paying for it. You're I'm paying the for senior. It, right. I'm buying the ticket. That's right. It's coming out of my pocket. It's not coming out of her pocket. I'm the senior. That's right. I was, I'm buying a ticket. That's if right. she was buying the ticket, she wouldn't get it. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, you know, I, I mean, too. yeah, I just think that uh, every day I, we, you know, I, I, let me put it this way. Uh, Marjorie is watching television and I'll go in and I'll look and see. And it's the Trump press conference, um, <laughs> which he moved from, by the way, to 1230 in the afternoon till six, to six o'clock at night, our time out here uh, for a very important reason that when he held them before, he made the stock market go down, you know, yeah. when, when, when the market was still open. Although I do believe he was probably shorting the stock somehow. But anyway, uh, 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 she's watching it, and I said, oh, it's, fuck, it's the fuck the sh- uh, shut the fuck up show. Because she sits there through the whole show yelling at the screen, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You know, well, you know what I, I noticed uh, the other day? What happened to the presidential seal on the front of the podium? That's a good question. Yeah, it just says the White House now. Yeah. Oh, I uh, what, whatever whatever happened up. Whatever happened to calling the president President Trump or President Obama? They're not doing uh, President Trump anymore. They just call him Trump. I even heard one news person calling him Mr. I heard one 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 news person calling him Mr. Trump. Yeah. You know, I like that. You know who I him. saw out there yeah. the other day too was uh what's his name? Sean, the old uh, uh what's his Sean name? Sean Spicer, yeah, Spicer was in the yeah, when the Spicer. press corps. I seen him mm-hmm. out there. Yeah. <laughs> I was cracking up. Here's the thing I don't get though in the press room, they have now separated the press from each other by yeah. about two seats, right? Oh, yeah. But they don't separate them the row back. Yeah. So they're still within six feet of each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And he said today, he says, oh, well, maybe maybe you guys will be getting closer together maybe in the next week or so. Yeah, because things are going to clear up within the things next Things are going to get better. We'll start with you guys and get you guys closer every, together. Every day I tune in what I call the, the Cuomo show. And every day he – well – what was it? I think yesterday he actually had good news that the the rise had gone to thirteen percent from about twenty percent. But then today it was bad news because it had like exponentially like uh, uh, gotten much higher. And uh, uh, I watch it every day because I want I want to see when we when we're going to hit that tipping point in which we say okay that's it that's the curve is over with now now it's going to be going down. But I, you know, I'm. I figure I'm going to be in this apartment for the next month and a half, two months. Well, it's funny yeah. when the stock market went up today, and they said it was the best day since 1933. I said because it's been so goddamn low, 
and it's going up again. How can you take credit oh, and for that? Jim? By the way, it didn't go up as high as the as the highest low we hit, which was it like was just three thousand. Percentage 000. number. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. But he, it, oh, it's been the best day since 1933. You can see we're coming back. I don't know. Yeah, Jeez, it, it, on, it, it went it went from eighteen thousand to nineteen thousand or something to like BFD. that. BFD. Mm-hmm. And even to say that, we're all, we're, and you think about what they're saying, it's the best day. We're all yes. shuttled in the house. Let's really think about it. No one wants to spend their money. Phil has found, a, fa- I can time. tell Phil has found a statistic. Uh, uh, I, I, you, know, I, you guys are all attracted to the bright, shiny object. I was just going to say, <laughs> uh, well, I want to live. <laughs> say, uh, there's a case. That's pretty Phoenix. big. Yeah. Uh, there's a case in Phoenix where uh, the guy took uh, oh, a yeah. drug. Oh, yeah. We that, know this. We know this. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they were, they were, Trump. The, the, and it was fish tank cleaner. Yeah. And yeah. you know you know why he took it? <laughs> because he's a moron. No. 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 Anybody here want to tell him why he took it? It was the drug. Like Trump say it on the air. Because he heard, and this is, the wife, Phil, the Phil, the, the wife Google said the reason he took it was because he heard about this drug from as a possible cure from oh, the president on TV. The only thing was there are different different forms of this form particular of drug, and this one was only good for uh, like uh, it was uh, killing parasites in fish. In fish, and yeah. One. yeah what, and that was it. It's what were you going to say, Kevin? And there's another drug that that cures lupus mm-hmm. that everybody's going after that they cannot get a hold of for the real lupus patients yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All because, no, no, no. All, because, all because moron boy opened yeah. his big fat mouth. He couldn't he keep it reason. shut. He says people listen to it, and some of them are going to believe it. But they this guy, this, I mean. First to find out yeah, if it about works, 30% these people are going nuts over it. Believe it. And this Just like the toilet paper. Agree, this guy was, was an idiot to do it, but Trump was an idiot to say it. Okay. You know, you you got it. You don't take fish tank cleaner. Yeah. Uh, and he didn't know any better. Than yes, God. but you're the person who you believe in, the president of the United States. Uh, you got said, You can't continue to be a victim. For Phil, the next, Phil, I mean, Phil. You also people. have to, as president, be more responsible and yeah. realize that what you say and what you do has its own if, actions. If he said yeah. it. The smooth melodic tone that Cuomo said it, you'd be sucking his dick too. But because hell no, I'm a no set Cuomo's not giving, giving false information, information out. Poetry, <laughs> and 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 the other one says in a way that's smooth. Well, no, 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 no. But tr- what Trump was doing, no, no, what Trump no. was doing, was giving out. What Trump was doing was giving out false information. Which, by the way, about five, two minutes, three minutes later, Fauci said, "Well, the evidence on that is only anecdotal." Correct. Okay, uh, and and uh, he had to be cor- he had to correct the president because he felt the information the president was giving was erroneous and dangerous. Are they looking at that as well as some other drugs to uh, yes. uh, besides the malaria one, the Z- yes. Zithromax with something else? No, Zithromax is with the malaria drug, Phil. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and so you know they they work in they work together in conjunction. And this guy's eating pool cleaner. Come on. But, 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 but the point is that, that Fauci went up there and disclaimed it, and then and then after the disclaimer, Trump still went up there and said, "I still think it's a good idea. I'm really happy with it. I'm really he's, good with he's it. Got I really I've think it's going to be good. Can't I be happy about it? Can't I be guy, happy about it? To room and be happy. Don't fish talk tank cleaner. He did the world a favor. No, that's not nice." I've so seen I disagree good with things you there because maybe it's just one more supporter that's gone. But you know, I agree with you there. I've seen good things, is what he always says. I've seen good things. What has he seen? Yes. What has he no, seen? He's seen nothing. It'll seen work. Things. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. We'll yeah. see. You know what's amazing what when this guy gives when, when, so when, 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 when he when he when when he when he when he bad things, but yeah. maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Yeah, we'll see. We do know. <laughs> the facts are that fish tank cleaner does not work. No, it isn't fish tank cleaner. It was a fish. It was a a, a pill for fish. Yes, uh, Charlie. One thing that I haven't heard anybody on the press point out is that, you know, we've had what over five hundred people die from this disease, 
And I have not heard one word out of Trump's mouth of any kind of condolences or expressing any sorrow yeah. for any of the people that have died. Not That's because you word. have to be. No, you have he's to more be worried sorry. about the. He's more worried about the the opening yes. up the states, open up the, the open up the open up the country because he thinks there's going to be more people committing suicide. Yeah. That's what he's Oh yeah, that about. was the other one today. People are committing suicide. People are committing suicide over huh? this. Who's yeah. committing suicide? Well, so that, that's, that's what Trump said tonight. Huh? He said that if we don't get the country opened up, that more people were going to start committing suicide because their businesses were going to close and they're going to lose their jobs and people were going to get depressed and more people were going to commit suicide. Well, a suicide is not contagious. This is yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. This, this is what the guy was saying. My 15-year-old daughter was listening to this today, and he, she said, what did he just say? <laughs> it's amazing. He's 15 years old. The, he told you the truth. That's what he told you. Oh, really? Oh, you're out of your mind. The truth. I don't believe for one fucking second that, that <laughs> Trump is worried about people committing suicide. You, this crew will never be monetized. He knows well, you know what I heard? I, well, I nobody's a, even swore yet. I have a friend who's a oh, he's got potty mouth. I have a I have a guy that I I know pretty well who's a YouTuber, and he said you cannot mention coronavirus really if you want to be monetized. Yeah, I heard but, that. Oh, if you want to be monetized on uh, on at all. Yeah, I know. Just, I, 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 I I was saw... doing a live show the other the other night, and somebody he goes, "Man, we can't say the word," but you know, with everything going on. Well, I say to hell with uh, with YouTube on that one. You know, I mean, this is an important discussion for people to have, if nothing more, yeah. as a catharsis for the situation. And and to they sent it out. They said, "Well, we're we're trying to assess whether talking about it is proper, and so on and so forth." Listen, I have a I have a, uh, what? a, a yeah. What else is on people's minds? Let me see here. Who is this? Who's calling? Who is this? What else is on people's oh. minds? Oh, there we go. Who 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 is it? I Who is this? We're getting repeat. We're getting repeat. You got to turn your audio off. There we go. Whatever you did, but who who is this? And now he's frozen. <laughs> who 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 is this? But now your he mic is off. Himself, it looks like. Now your mic is off. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get Tony Magno back in here. For some reason, Tony got got uh, big yeah. drop. It's Jeff, he just gained weight. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, who who is this? See, we can't. Your audio isn't on. Your audio isn't on. Yeah, your mic's not working. Unmute. 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 Bottom. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Are, are you there? Unmute. Hi. Hi. Who is yeah. it? Who is this? And, and what name there are you? you what name are you using here so I can put you up here on the screen? Wait, wait a minute. There, it, we got, we got to hang up on you. If you can't turn off your speaker. Wait, wait a minute. There, it, it, we got to hang up on you. If you can't turn off your speaker. There. Now your speaker's off. Now can you talk to us? No. Yeah. Speak. No, yeah, but no. he's speeding you, back. We're still having troubles. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to kind of say goodbye. Try putting on some headphones. We're still having troubles. We're gonna have yeah, to. We're yeah. gonna have I, to kind of. I, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to deal with this at all. We're still having. Okay, uh, remove from call. There we go. Yeah, he just didn't have headphones on. His speakers were feeding back. Yeah, yeah, and it's nobody I've ever seen before. So, you know, I had no idea who who that was. If he puts on headphones, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, if you put on headphones, if you're listening to us, if you were to put on headphones and turn your speakers off, you'd probably be fine. But the sound was just coming back, and it was going crazy. Um, you know, uh, but uh, getting back to YouTube, I mean, I and I, they sent a thing, and it, it, it didn't make a lot of sense because it said, well, we realize that some news people have to talk about it and so on, so we may make some exceptions. And, and I'm going, what? You know. Give this a is break. a current events show. Why wouldn't you be able to talk about it and be monetized? Well, because it is a current um, event show. And we talk about current events, even though they're not active. By the way, I, I I guess I won't talk <laughs> talk about it, but I'll I'll play this. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. 
Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. <laughs> Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this podcast. Okay, so I we bring it's you the PSA. It. We, yeah, we have that on uh, on, on our uh, twenty four seven feed, constantly running. So see what Bobby Slayton wrote about this on uh, Facebook. No, he says Ozzy Osbourne bites off the head of a bat forty years ago, and his record sales <laughs> soar. Sure. Some dumb Chinese peasant makes a bat sandwich for lunch, and the world comes to an end. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, Good old Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's just it's crazy and it's crazy what it's done to us as a, as a society. You know, I look out on the street uh, and there are some people out there, not as many. And it's very quiet out there. And I saw two people on the street corner talking to each other today and they were six feet from each other. They were they kept the distance. So my know. neighbors did today. They all sat out front about six feet apart in chairs because a nice day yep. hanging out on the street mm -hmm. on the front yard yep and uh, uh and then i saw two people waiting to cross across the street at the light and they kept their distance of six feet apart from each other yeah that's what you uh, do yeah when i went to the store the we were all bouncing around each other in the car yeah, you know, just staying no, away. i wish i had a shotgun to take out a few of those people on the beach at miami in oh, Miami. Oh, yeah. I mean, me what a bunch of stupid kids those are. And Just, they're going to come back and give everybody a thing. Oh, yeah. I'd use the Humvee. <laughs> and the latest thing, the thing Fauci <laughs> said today was he didn't want people in New York leaving New York to go to, say, their home or their relatives or whatever in Long Island or in upstate New York because this could be a way of spreading it. Just stay in place, you know? Stay in your apartment. I mean... I, I can't, for the life of me, I mean, I may eventually get it, who knows, but I can't, for the life of me, see how I can catch it if I don't leave this apartment, you know. My mother's 90th birthday oh. is May 17th. Mm -hmm. I have no idea the next time I'll be seeing oh. her. Okay, now this person is back now. Who is this? Are you, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Perfect. who are, what you, who are you? And what what uh, name do you use uh, on Skype? My name so is John. I, I'm from San Francisco. I used to listen to you a long time ago. But your name is, let's see here. Let me see what... Uh, what John we, Larkin. John Larkin. I don't... Yep. I'm, I'm trying to see if... Uh, uh, it could be this one. Uh, that's who it could be. Let me see here. Uh, John Larkin. Let me see here if I... There we go. Yep. Yep, yep, we got you, John. Hi, welcome. We're glad you finally could figure it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing in San Francisco? You're on real lockdown there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, everybody's kind of ignoring it, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Kind of ignoring it. Kind of, yeah. What do you mean? What By kind of ignoring it, what do you mean? I mean, are they still observing the rules? There's a lot of people on the street. Um People are not taking it very seriously in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how old? You find a lot of people yeah. on the streets. Yeah. How old are you? But, sorry. How old are you? Sixty-two. Okay, so you're 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 in that area where it could be dangerous. You know. Yes. Really dangerous to you. Although I was seeing tonight on television. A lot of a thirty-five-year-old dying. There's even yep. I think the yeah. youngest one is a seven-year-old kid died. Of fourteen-year-old girl uh, died recently. Yeah, my sister's yeah. friend works at NYU. They just had a lady pass away, forty-one. Really? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, and I already, you know, Ronnie thinks she may have had it, and um, my friend Steve Weiner uh, says he, he he probably has it. He called his doctor, uh, or talked to his doctor, and uh, the doctor said, you probably have it, but don't do anything about it because as long as you can breathe and as long as you can keep going, don't take up a hospital bed. You know, so I he's... I have my own ventilator, and so does Kevin. Oh, really? You do? Yeah, it's a CPAP. No, that's not a ventilator. <laughs> you know, I was wondering about that. I wonder if they could use them. What do you think? 
Well, you know, what they say is that the moisture, if your nostrils are moist, that helps uh, ward off the coronavirus. Okay, here we go. Matt, more medical advice really? from Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Phil. That's true. I can Google so, it. You know, I've been wearing the uh, CPAP machine. I wish I could walk around with it, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm going to sell mine on eBay. Yeah. I have two of them. Ventilator. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you do? Yeah. I just, I just stopped snoring, so, you know. It's, uh... Yeah, but if you had a CPAP, you might live. Yeah, well, I've, I'm radiated, so probably nothing can get past that. You know, yeah. put one of them fish pills in the humidifier and then inhale it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, what is your name again? I'm I'm very bad with names. John. Huh? John Larkin. John Larkin. Uh, so yeah. So John jo Larkin. Yeah. So John, have you been out much, or do you have you been staying sticking in to the house? I'm staying in. I I live in the Tenderloin, so um, you know I'm pretty. There, there's there's restaurants and. Uh, and uh, grocery stores close by, but I only go out about once a day. Yeah. John, you live on Larkin Street? <laughs> close to it. I live on Leavenworth. Uh, okay, that's next door. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. There's a Larkin Street in the Tenderloin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, um, yeah, it's just that, He's... you know, I mean, I just, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's terrible, but I, I, I just think we need a little more leadership in this. You know, I never thought I would say it, but when they're having those press conferences and Mike Pence gets up, I breathe a slight sigh of relief. Yeah, he's not as bad as Trump. Yeah, yeah. because he at least tries to present some semblance of uh, leadership. Mm. Okay. I'm tired tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. When I saw him in those last press conference, he's looking down, he's reading his notes, and uh, he was like, uh, uh, not stressed, but. Uh, uh, it's got to be stressful. I mean, hating him as the much fuse. as I do, he's still, that's a lot of stress. Yeah. Yeah. These 15 days. Yeah. Oh, that, that fucking that card. <laughs> card with the 15 days can't thing. Can't wait on till it. Saturday Night Live gets a hold of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you it's know, be a long you, time you, before Saturday Night Live yeah, is back. Yeah, yeah, I know they'll probably yeah. forget yeah, about it by then. But I, I, I don't know if I can do this completely. But this is my impression of Trump at at the press conference when he's standing over in the corner, watching. Oh, yeah. It. He's he he's not exactly paying attention. Do you ever notice? He goes. Yeah, he looks yeah. around and he's doing the he's doing the Hillary. He I'm looking at he you just now. He keeps swaying his body back and forth. Yeah, he's he like, does. He does. He's he's that's right. He does. But he can't. You know what I'm talking about, everybody? Yeah, yeah. I can't hear you. I gotta stick put up my earphones butt. on. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Absolutely. You know about that that little thing. I mean, it, it, it's just that he should really maybe let other people hold the press conferences, uh, who can. You know, if uh, Fauci was giving, you know, there was there giving his little speech, and even Pence gave his little speech, and here follow these rules, you know, whatever. I think the country would feel a little bit better, but I think Trump is handling this so badly because he is such a, he's such a con artist, and he doesn't know how to do anything else but con, you know. Uh, yes, Mr. Larkin, are you there? He's frozen now. Oh, there we go. No, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I know the tenderloin, so you probably have lousy um, internet connection. But <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, so uh, you know, and I, I would oh, like, yeah. I, I would, I, I would, I would, I, I want nothing more than for the president to be presidential in this. And I would like nothing more than him to be able to. Um, what? Who? Who just put a picture up here? Who? Who did that? Who? Who? Which one of you did that? Which one of you? I think it was an accident. Huh? I think. Yeah. It, how, yeah how do you see the uh, the chat? I don't know. It came up. All of a sudden, a picture came up. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, but uh, anyway. Um, uh, you know, I just, I just, I, I so want him at, at a time like this to be able to rally the nation, and he's just not doing it. 
you know, uh, and I think he should, he, but he doesn't, his ego is so big he doesn't say, you know, I'm not very good at this. I should let Pence do it, or I should let Fauci do it, or I should let uh, any number of people, you know, um, do it. Instead, he feels he's got to do it. He's, he, to begin with, he knows he's monopolizing time on the air, and that as long as he's monopolizing it, none of the Democrats are talking about their campaigns. When's the last? I saw Joe Biden on the air today, and I almost forgot what he looked like. You know? Uh, and we haven't even seen Bernie Sanders. He's done. That's only because Toast. they had to put it on the air. He's had, I've been watching this live broadcast every day. He has an hour or two live broadcast every day. Who? Uh, uh, who? Uh, Bernie? Bernie Sanders. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sandra, I need to turn the light on. It comes so off. They, uh, they did that movie, My Weekend with Bernie. They got two guys on the side of him, propping him mm -hmm. up the window. Yeah. Was like, like, yes. is By the very way, good yeah. same thing over, over for 45 years. You know, it's easy just to get a recording. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he doesn't He doesn't come up with anything new. That's for damn sure. You know. That's because what he, his old stuff is good. We just haven't done it yet. Yeah, but you know, times change, and you adapt uh, even the most socialistic of thinking to the to to modern times. And he's still living with a credo that really is best served in the 1950s. You know, that, it's a problem. It really is, and I think that's why he hasn't connected with the American people. Uh, also, Biden just acts more presidential. Right, you know, uh, everything and, Biden took everything that Trump is doing and claimed that it was his platform to do for this virus. Oh really? I, I, oh really? Yeah. I haven't no, even no, heard he Biden talk, talk about the virus. Doing anything right yet? Yeah. Well, no, no, but Biden is claiming it as his own. What? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, you gotta, you gotta shut down tra the the things from China. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. It was every single point. I, I was watching a uh, YouTube of Biden uh, giving a speech uh, just uh, the, just the other day on his position uh, on the uh, on what to do for the virus, and he was his platform was the, the list of things that Trump did. Let's see if he if he agrees and starts to say we need to reopen everything and. By Easter, I guarantee yep. you he would not say right. that. <laughs> How did he even come up with that? I didn't even get. That's what was so confusing with the Easter. Because, it's almost like, because Shane, wouldn't that be just wonderful if it was he Easter? He just said he picked it. Because you know, it would be Easter so would nice. be so. It makes, a Christian it, holiday. He That's said because it's Christian. one of my favorite <laughs> holidays. Yeah, like you go to church, you mother. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, like, no one's even thinking about that. Everybody's just thinking about staying in the house, and he's thinking yeah. about the money. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, why didn't he make it Passover instead of Easter? Because we all yeah. know we Jews are better with money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we'll get it back into circulation again. You know. I wouldn't give it back to him though. I'll tell you. <laughs> but hey, the best plan I heard about how to dispense this money, but I don't know what happened to it because it just looks like they're going to send us all twelve hundred dollars and we're going to go I'm out and fifteen. Huh? Only I'm... certain people. There's a means testing. It's what uh, mean. Uh, so uh, I don't and get fact, it. The poor people get less. Really? I, I mean, here's what I heard. Here, here's no, what I heard was the plan, and it was a reasonable plan, and that was that. This money would be used to finance the states and their unemployment compensation to compensate for people's unemployment 100%. Yeah. So in other words, if you applied for unemployment for this thing, you would get whatever you got as a salary. And I thought that was a very good idea. That was a good way of parceling it out. You know, mm -hmm. but I mean, what? We're going to bail out the cruise ships, these, these floating petri dishes. Exactly. You know? That's where it's coming from. They want us to get That's sick. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, why, are, why are we bailing out the, the cruise ships? Why are we bailing out the airlines? The airlines have been overcharging us for years. They've been making obscene profits in the last couple of years. And all of a sudden, because they can't fly people, we have to take care of them. Just keep your planes on the ground. Don't put gas in them. Yeah. You know, yeah, and you, you won't be you, paying U.S. taxes. I, I, they're losing baggage fees. I, I'm kind of glad <laughs> that they have problems. They screwed me on. Yeah, they baggage, were talking you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, what, what's what's with with saving the airlines? Save the guy 
who, uh, you know, works up at the restaurant where I go to, and he can't yeah. go in and work every day right now. Go save him. Yes, Sibby. I heard uh, somewhere that most of these cruise lines, they have, uh, you know, like a Jamaican flag or an Antigua flag or different yeah. Panama flag because they're registered in that country, and so they don't, they don't have to pay taxes. Right. So why is our tax money being uh, you know, paid to help those exactly. who don't even pay their taxes here? I, I don't know why why he's obsessed with the cruise ships, you know. I mean, they must have given him money. Florida depends on the cruise ships for uh, uh, a lot of tourism, uh, and uh, it's uh, very important to Florida to have the cruise industry, and it'll cripple Florida if you don't. Well, it, look, you know. I mean, we, you know. By the way, they got Disneyland. So compensate By the way, Florida, do you, don't compensate the cruise ships. Do you know what isn't open for business right now, every day? Disney. Yeah, Disney. No, no. The most important part of the American economy. My carpet store? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wall Street. The uh, uh, stock exchange no. is clo is not open. They are operating completely on uh, computers, and that's it. There are no human beings on that floor. It went up 2,000 points today, so maybe that works. <laughs> it's been that way for the most of the week, Phil. And the reason it went up today is because the stock market saw some perhaps relief coming from the federal government in, in these things. We have a long way to go to get it back to where it was. You know, saying that it went up 2,000 points today is just a piss in the fucking ocean. You know, and it's nothing to say wonderful things about. Just be happy it didn't go down, right, Keith? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Ke yeah, Keith. Am I right, Keith Larkin? No, John. John. John Larkin. See, I'm terrible with names. If he calls about a dozen times, I'll finally get his name right. <laughs> I'm down $188 since the crash. Really? I'm probably down about 30000 Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, I'm not. Spent planning on spending it anytime soon. I only put a thousand in. Although I, I did have to shell out some copays today for my my cancer. I had to put out four hundred and thirty five dollars in copays. Why, why haven't they put a moratorium on copays? I heard they. <laughs> did, I thought they did, or is that just on for testing for the virus? Yes, for oh, the okay. virus. For the virus. Yeah. Uh, listen, the the total bill so far that that was based on was uh, what was billed by the, the hospital, not paid by Medicare, but billed by the hospital total, was something like $70,000. So the fact that I had to put out $433, I think, is okay by me, you know. And most of that was like my yearly deductible. So uh, so where do we go from here, guys? What, 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 what's the plan? Do we all uh, just... Crawl as you know, crawl up in a little ball and just disappear, or uh, do you think we're gonna... bought Brian Neary's stock? Uh, the you know the guy that works for the company that came up with the test. It yeah. went up uh, seven dollars and seventy six cents today, uh, and you know I thought about buying it Monday because I knew the thing was coming out, and I just got busy and uh, and didn't do it. Would have, could have, should have. I would have made money because I didn't make money in anything else. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which stock yeah. is that? Uh, it's uh, the initials are DHR. It's the uh, company that owns uh, his company. It's a German uh, medical research company, but the symbol is DHR. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, I, I sent you some oh, stuff. Yeah. You know, you're a big player in the stock market, Matt, now. You've already lost $800. Yeah. No, no, $180. $180, $180 excuse me. Yeah. Phil's going, yeah. Yeah. everybody take their money out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get an account, which I hadn't had. My ex-wife had the account. I, I never just traded stocks. And uh, so I took 1000 I... I said, okay, there's a downturn. It went down seven percent. So I bought at twenty-seven thousand. Mm -hmm. Now it's twenty. <laughs> so, you know, I I've always said that if I buy something, 
in the stock market, yeah. people should do the opposite. Well, that's why I think maybe you should do a stock report for us and tell us what you're buying so we'll know that and be able to do exactly the opposite. It, it's kind of a form of shorting. If you buy it, we'll, we'll sell it. We can sell it, right. Well, I bought the Dow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, there's our theme song playing its uh, way out of here. Um, uh, John Larkin, please call again and get used to doing this, and then you can really engage yourself in the citizen panel even more than you are right now. Although I think he's frozen and gone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh -huh. All right, well, and I don't know why I said goodbye to him. Uh, goodbye to uh, Rob Alfano, Phil Meyer, Kevin, thank you, Charlie Wallace, uh, Sibby Itty, and of course, the lovely and attractive uh, 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 Tony Magno, okay? And everybody stay healthy. Yes, and everybody, oh, yeah. we have a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave right back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizens panel for tonight. Uh, I'm going to hang up on them now. They're hanging up on me. Boy, they couldn't hang up fast enough. Uh, but I'll hang up on them now, and I will then turn off my feed. There we go. And get it ready for the next show, which is Jack Bishop. He's going to be here with the intersection. Call him. He's fun, too, and does more of the same thing we do here. Uh, we'll uh, be uh, back again tomorrow night, uh, right here, uh, uh, same time, uh, same station in life. And in the meantime, as I always like to say, uh, uh, please uh, stay six feet away from somebody. And if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>